Hi, I'm Tom, owner of Cotswold Rods. We've just finished in a workshop for the day and we've come down to a local lake. We're going to put the rods out in between the showers. It's looking a bit black behind the camera there. And we're going to show you through some of the products from American Tackle and what goes into the making of our custom rods. We've got, now got the rods out. Uh, I'm, I'm on the right, Danny's on the left. We've come down in the back of this little bay. The wind's hacking down here. It looks perfect for a bite. When we first arrived, there were a lot of fish just skirting around under the bushes on the far side, but they seemed to have pushed out and we scared them off. Um, so we've come out, put a little bit of bait in, and the rods are out now waiting for a bite. While we've got the rods out, we're going to talk to you a little bit about American Tackle, who they are and what they're doing in the carp scene. We've been working with them very closely on some carp related products, along with several rod builders across Europe. Um, American Tackle have been around for a long time. They're a very established brand, but haven't been active in the carp market. But they've got the ability and the technology to make some great products. Luckily, we've been able to work with them. And what you see before you is full AT setups. We've got some, some great reel seats, guides, blanks, everything to make perfect carp rods. So we've come down here today after a day in the factory, come to this lake in the middle of the Cotswolds, uh, hopefully going to try and catch a couple of carp. There was a few fish around earlier, uh, a bit of a stalking opportunity, which really never came to anything and they've drifted off. So we've come around the other side on this nice fresh southwesterly wind. Uh, hopefully they'll move in in the margins where we've got all of our rods positioned. Uh, and while we're here, we're going to talk about the American tackle components. Um, so American Tackle, probably one of the largest manufacturers of rod building components and rod blanks. So the American Tackle uh, have been established historically in the US market, based in Sweden currently. Uh, and they've, been, they've brought with them a whole host of that sort of technology and the components from the bass fishing and the sea fishing world. And they've developed into what we've been looking at today, components for the carp fishing rods. Um, things like reel seats, the CRSD reel seats, which come in four different colours, or three different colours, uh, but four different styles. You've got a standard black, uh, a matte black finish, a really nice soft touch rubberized finish, and a really nice gun smoke finish now, which, you know, in the past has fallen out of favour, but it's really nice components now. But with those gun smoke, reel fittings, they're doing gun smoke fittings, little collars that go in front of the of the reel seats that match all the different types of duplon. And if we're talking about the duplon or the foam, we've got uh, foam that's tipped with cork. We've got uh, the DPM uh, camo finish to it. Um, they do them in the old school flares or little cone finishes. So we've got loads of different options for, you know, the hand-built bespoke carp rods. Uh, and whilst all of these components which American Tackle have provided for us, they're now basing all of these components on their recently released Atrix carp blanks. Now the carp blanks themselves, based on the historic knowledge they've got of building big game, musky and bass fishing rods, they've really put this technology to good use. As we know, the shorter rods have become really, really popular in recent years and the 10 foot rods from the American Tackle, the Atrix range, really high performance, great rods, whether you're carp fishing or you're pike fishing from a boat. There's several different test curves in these shorter 10 foot lengths. And then we've got the standard 12 foot range with a host of different test curves uh, that cover pretty much every multitude, multitude or application you can think of with UK fishing. Right up to, as I said earlier, the 13 foot power ass, the three and three quarter, the really big casting, heavy leads, long distance work. Um, don't be afraid of those rods though. You know, lots of people think that heavy test curves mean hook pulls under the rod tip. 
these are really nice rods. Although they're tools for the job, they're still actually fishing rods. Uh, they're light in the hand, really responsive, great crisp action. And then when you're playing a fish, the feel is amazing. Really, really nice. So with these rods, they've got a premium 1K finish. We've effectively got a, a, a blank for you for any type of car fishing that you do, whether you're a small water specialist or a big open pit, maybe even European fishing. We've got a blank for you specifically. Why have a hand-built rod? Why not just build one, buy one off the shelf? Bespoke rods, coming to us at Cotswold Rods, allows us to build the rod that's suitable for you, for your fishing, in line with your budget, but it gives you that unique aspect, your own personalization of how you want your rod to look. You get to choose the real seats, what type of handle finishes, the, the, the threads, uh, and don't be afraid to add a little bit of color in there. Metallic threads look amazing on rods. We can have your name wrote on there. Then we've got the different options for rings. We've got lined rings, we've got the pentalite guides, uh, which are pretty traditional. And then we've got the, the, the new age rings. They're unlined, very, very light, very, very strong. They've got no centers to pop out of them. They're called the Vortex Air. They're a fantastic option. And with the lightness of those rings added to the responsive actions of the blanks, they allow us to build amazing carp fishing rods, fantastic actions, great castability, and they look amazing on the rod rests, which is really important for most of us. So all of the components that American Attackle are now giving us Cotswold rods to build with, we're now putting into good use on the Atrix blanks, building unique specialist cart rods for you to your own design. So one of the advantages we've found with working with American Tackle is how reactive they are to some new ideas. It's allowing us to build the rods that we actually wanted, which we're, historically we've been restricted in market components. Talking with American Tackle and their in-house design team and their manufacturing processes allows us to build the components that we've actually wanted for years. Things like the Vortex Air Guide. Amazingly light rings, super strong with the black no scratch coating. Allows us to build the rods true to the action of the rods. No longer are we using these big heavy lined rings. The Vortex Air Guides gives us the crispest, most responsive action available. So it's coming into the evening now, and we've still got the rods out. We're hopeful of a fish or two. They're just starting to show. The wind's calming down. It's looking really good for a bite. As a rod builder, one of the questions I get asked the most is what rods do I use for my own fishing? Well, uh, we could have any, any rod possible. Obviously, we can make anything. But for me, I always use 10 foot wherever possible. So on this water, it's 10 to 12 acres, and there's not anywhere we can't cast to. In the last 12 months, we've seen a massive surge in popularity of the 10 foot rods. People are cottoned on to how good they are, how versatile they are, and that for the majority of waters in the UK, they're the perfect tools. I use the 10 foot three and a half pound version. I find them, they're, they're, not, they're not poker stiff. You know, a lot of people have this, they're scared of the three and a half pound tag that they have, but just take that as a casting weight. They cast three and a half ounces really well. But you can use them close in. You know, I've got rods here that are 20 yards out. I've got a rod here that's 40 yards out. One thing with the Atrex range is they're a two-piece. So they're a 10-foot two-piece. And that gives you a higher performance than the telescopic rods, in my opinion. Having that single joint gives you a smoother power delivery. Coupled with the great action, it gives you high performance. You can fish at long range if you need to, but you can also fish under your rod tips with no problems at all. That's why I always opt for my 10 foot wherever possible. Hopefully later on tonight, we can show you in action as well with a, with a fish or two. If not, I'm gonna put some bait out and I'll be back first thing in the morning for another go. So 
that have just got back this morning. The plan last night was to put a little bit of bait in, come back this morning, drop the rods in. It's supposed to be back for seven o'clock. Unfortunately, we've got a newborn at home. I had this little issue with the snooze button, so I'm running a bit late. And I woke up again with a text from Danny. Got one, hurry up. Let's go and see what he's got, and I get my rods out. So here we are. I sneaked over a bit earlier than Tom. We'd agreed to meet. I got here a bit earlier than him. Got the rods out. Time I got the second rod out, this one ripped off. Uh, lovely fish, beautiful condition. Passed a load of the pre-baited seed into the sling while we've just been getting set up. So it's always been eating really confidently. Using the 12 foot, three and a half pound Atrix, even in the edge. Super confident, no worries about hook pulls. Even though it's a powerful rod, literally a less than a rod length in the edge. No problems at all. Controlled the fish, real real tussle, obviously in close. And this is uh, this is the prize. Beautiful fish. Uh, and this fell to uh, a boily presentation with a piece of fake corn. Really happy with this one. Beautiful specimen. But well, a quick bite we were hoping for hasn't materialised. So we're going to take a little bit of time just to talk about the cops and rods relationship with American Tackle and why I like to use them. As a custom rod builder, we need 110% confidence in our products. I want every component that goes onto my rods, I need to know that it's perfect. Working with American Tackle, even just on little things like reel seats, butt caps, guides, and then right through to the development of the blanks, it's allowed us to give you the highest quality products one of the major benefits of working with American Tackle is having access to these products quickly, allowing us to really cut down these lead times without sacrificing any product quality. Take this rod for example, an Atrex 12 foot 3.5, fitted with Vortex Air Guides, full American Tackle components, matte black reel seat, it looks fantastic, a great all-rounder. We've got other models, the 10, the 10 foot, the 13 foot, we keep them all in stock. We've got a couple more hours here before Joe shoots off to meet up with Mitch, one of the American Tackle Pro staff team. You're going to find out why Mitch chooses custom rods and what it adds to his fishing. Nothing's happening out the front here, so we've had a little walk up the bank. We've spotted some fish really close in. It's going to be a good stalking opportunity. So we're going to reel these in, change the rigs, and get them beside that. Oh yeah. Oh wow, there's a massive cloudy right at the edge this one. About two feet out. So he's just weeding up. He's okay. Come on. He's trying really, really hard to get in that tree. Come on. Come on, darling. There we go. Wait. It's only a baby, but he's very welcome. There they are. Oh, oh no, he's a nice fish. <laughs> 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 
Uy. There we go. There we go. Go for it, Frankie boy. Yes, a fish on the bank. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Lovely. Oh, I always see that to make myself feel better if I lose it. There we go. We have got a beauty. The move down this end of the lake really paid off. We were just feeding some floaters and got the fish feeding on the top and the, the rod that we left in down the edge just tore off, bent right round. The, um, it's about a foot out from the bank and we've got a really nice prize here. Yeah. Oh, hey, come on. Got a proper Cotswold Common. There we go. Fought like a demon going on the little 10 foot A-tracks. Perfect for in the edge stuff. There we go. As so we've got this fish, this, even as, we, um, as we're playing the fish, they're still taking off the top. So we're gonna have a little go on the mixes in a second. I think there's still time for another bite. But we'll get this beauty back and try for another. Here we go. After the fish earlier, the fish moved out in the bay. So we went back round onto the headland and kept our eyes on the lake. We've, we've seen a lot of fish showing up this end. We've just bought two rods, just traveling light, laid on the deck just trying to steal another bite before Joe goes off and follows Mitch up to the big pit. Right, you join me today on the bank of my local syndicate lake I've been fishing on and off for the last year, year and a half now. It's a huge windswept sailing pit. It's about 150 acres, and I'd say probably half of that, so kind of 75 acres of it, are just completely out of bounds. You know, you, you can't cast to them, you can't, you're not allowed to use bait boats on there. The only way you can do it is just to cast as far as you physically can. The holding up in these areas where the the stress-free, there's no lines, you know, there's nothing going on there for them and they're more than happy to just sit out at those distances and just and just feed and, and just be happy. So having a rod and having an ability to be able to cast that little bit further is, is a huge advantage and, it, and it, it, it helps me get a few extra bites, you know, where other anglers are struggling with their tackle, they're pushing it to the extremes, trying to trying to get that little bit further and a little bit further and having tackle which is just capable of, of reaching those distances is an absolute must for me. Not just being able to reach these distances but being able to reach them with accuracy and con consistency. You know it's not like um, my rods are going soft on me or anything like that which you usually find with, with a, a cheaper shot bought rod. These these rods are solid and, and they perform so well over and over and over again. The rods I've chose today have been kind of developing with Tom Pollard over at Cotswold Rods for the last year, year and a half now, which is a 13 foot Atrex Extreme from American Tackle. Um, they are absolute super beasts from me really giving it big ones the last couple of weeks with them. And, and yesterday we got Joe down doing a bit of slow-mo film we could really see the action of a rod and things and what we've done is we've put on the lightest possible components so I've got a full carbon reel seat I've got a full carbon back handle and these special guides um, which are TI forged airs they're a forward facing eye but they have no ceramic ring inside them so this reduces all of the friction, but also guides the line directly through the, through the eye. Whereas with a standard ring, the line actually travels up past your spigot and then comes back down and then goes through the rings, following up through the rod. One, they're almost in, impossible to break. You know, there's nothing worse when you turn up to the lake and you open your rod bag up as then you look inside. <laughs> You look inside and you've got a big crack in your ring, you know, that's your session buggered, isn't it, really? You're a rod down kind of thing. So 
you can't you can't break them. I'm quite clumsy. I'm quite heavy-handed on my tackle, and, and these are just perfect for me. I just know I've got the confidence to turn up every trip, and they're just the eyes are never going to be broke. You know, I, I can't scratch them. I can't dink them. I can't dent them. But I won't turn up, and there's one, there's an eye just floating up and down on my line, which has happened to me with with my shot bought rods over over the years. Um, the second advantage of having these TI forged air rings is the weight. Now, a full set of these rings is almost the equivalent weight of only one ceramic 50 mil ring. So that aids the recovery time of the tip. So when you're pulling the rod over your shoulder and the lead's flying through the air, your rod will actually bend forwards and down and then spring back up. Now in that time, again, it's, it's causing friction for all the eyes. So the quicker that tip speed recovers, comes straight and, you, and in the cast, you know, you watch your lead flying through the air and you also need to guide the line because what you do see quite a lot is you see anglers, they'll give it a really big cast and then they'll hold the rod up at a funny angle or they'll hold it to the side or you know, they might even point it down, you know, but all that's doing is it's creating friction and more and more friction is just reducing the distance that you're actually able to cast. So is it, always look at your line going through your eyes, you know, slowing your cast down almost, you know, give it big uns. So having all of these components combined on these rods, which I've, I've custom picked, you know, they, um, they re they are, these rods really are tailored to fit my needs. Now, I'm happy to use these rods on a smaller venue um, just due to the fact that I know I've got the power and the backbone within the rods, you know, just to, to pull any big fish out of the weed and fishing on these bigger lakes at distance, you definitely need that and with a shot bought rod you just, you just won't get that custom feel, you know, I've had rods over years and they start coming apart of the spigots and even the real seats start slipping, you know, and we're picking to go for a custom built rod from someone like Tom. To be honest, how I've had these built and everything, I'm absolutely over the moon with them. We we're at mega distance with them yesterday. And also I've got, I've got a rod fishing quite close in, you know. Not only are the components I've chosen, obviously a custom, are all custom fitted components, but I've also had the rod custom fitted to my size and build. So I'm six foot three. Um, and what you can actually see is that the rod, the butt section, is the perfect length to just tuck kind of underneath my armpit, you know? So when you stood in front of you with both arms straight, they are the perfect distance. And with, again, going back to shop bought rods, it was just, they were always too short, you know? It's like, it's like for myself going and trying on a suit and the legs being too short or the arms, you know? You want a custom tailored fit. And that's exactly what this rod has, has, has been built for, for, for myself. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration cast just to really show you what I mean by having this custom fitted butt section. Um, when I bring my rods over my shoulders, you'll see just how straight I can keep my arms. Whereas if you've got them too short, you know, you end up kind of cramping up and you're not, you're not making a full arc when you bring your rod over. Um, I'll do a simple overhead cast. Seemed to be working really well yesterday. The wind direction changed slightly, so you should, what you'll see is you'll see me guiding the tip and guiding the line with the tip, just to, like I say earlier, min minimize that friction and, and gain those extra few yards. I'm gonna place me shot leader knot straight at the back of the spool. Have the same drop to my first eye. First of all, line myself up with where I'm going to be aiming at to cast at. Slowly lower my arms behind me and lean back on my foot. Touch the lead on the floor, arms right back, step forward and power. And I can just guide that line through. And that was a good cast. So unlike Tom yesterday, where he was running around and chasing them about around a bit smaller lake, I found them. I knew exactly where, where, where they were gonna be. You know, I've been watching the weather, I've been 
visiting the lake every day. I only live five minutes away, so I've been popping up here and I've, I've been able to find out where they are. So Joe's unfortunately got to shoot off. It'd be wicked if he could stay around and hopefully try and get us catching one on film, but he's got to shoot off. I've got another 24 hours and I'm quite confident of a day bite in this swim. So we'll get all of this wrapped up. I'll have another play with my rods, get some more bait put out there, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have a big one.